Good evening once again. I'm Keith Radford. We begin tonight with a discussion on domestic violence. These challenging times have paved the way really for a spike in violence all over the globe and here at home as well. Take a look at these numbers tonight. 29 million women have experienced severe physical violence from an intimate partner in their lifetime. 20 people per minute are physically abused by an intimate partner here in this country alone. And on a typical day, there are more than 20,000 phone calls placed to domestic violence hotlines nationwide. Just about a year ago, Allie Turner lost her life after intervening in a domestic violence case. Family and friends are now planning a walk in her memory. Tonight's 7 Eyewitness News reporter Hannah Bueller tells us more about the event and shares more about the untold story of Allie Turner. And John, if you read the Bible, a man that laid down his life for a friend will have eternal life in heaven. So what she did, I know she's in heaven because she really did lay her life down. This Buffalo mother will never stop grieving over the death of her daughter. It was the early morning hours of June 19th last year when 28 year old Allie Turner received a call from a friend who needed help. Her friend was being beat up by her boyfriend and Allie being who she is, to my understanding, got the guy off of her and in turn the guy starts stabbing my daughter. Turner was caught in the middle of a serious case of domestic violence. Me and Allie drove over there just to pick up the kids. That's it. Allie's friend, Laura Allen, tells me earlier that day, she and Turner went to remove kids from the toxic situation, but Allie went back to help her friend. I just miss my friend a lot. That's when police say 26-year-old Talon Williams stabbed Turner to death outside this home on Dote Street after strangling his girlfriend inside. His girlfriend made it out alive. She just couldn't stand to see anybody being hurt. She couldn't stand any nonsense. She like to smile, have fun, travel. Allie's mother, Daisy Wilkins, says this entire situation has shown her and her family how tragic domestic violence situations can be. He draw pictures with a guy with knives and caskets, and he says he's very angry. She says her seven-year-old grandson drew this photo of Allie in a casket and a man on the outside holding a knife. This is not the end, this my graduation. Turner's brother wrote this song called Purple Heart. Purple is associated with domestic violence awareness. The Purple Heart is also an honor given to those military members who died in the line of duty. For this family, Turner gave her life trying to help a friend. We still a team that she gone. That's still my friend. I keep her with me at all times. But Turner was a peaceful person. Her family says always helping others. That's why the family is holding a walk in her honor to bring awareness to domestic violence and provide resources and help for those who need it most. Wilkins says she and her family are proof that domestic violence doesn't just impact the couple involved. We want to try to help those and let everybody know that there's help out here. It's absolutely help out here. The walk is scheduled for June 26th in the morning. My baby does leave a legacy behind, and it's love, peace, and happiness. Details can be found with this story on WKBW.com. Reporting in Buffalo, Hannah Bueller, 7 Eyewitness News. And if you find yourself in a situation and you think you need help, grab a pen and a piece of paper. Take note of these phone numbers. The Family Justice Center here in Buffalo can be reached at 558 72 Three, three. You can also call Crisis Services. The phone number there is 834-3131.